to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning everybody Well, we are going out again it is Sunday, November 22nd, and it is snowing again. <laughs> yeah, isn't that something? Eh? Every time I go out, it seems to be snowing now. I don't know what's up with that, you know? I cannot give me a good date to go out once in a while, you know? But, oh well. And we're going to the same place again. Except we're not delivering to the same place, but we're going to the same place again where we went last week to go pick up a load, which is dried in Ontario. Well, I shouldn't say last week, that was only this week. As you guys remember, I just did a short trip so I could be home for Saturday. But we gotta go up here to Coop, fuel the sucker up, so that way we got lots of fuel. And then we'll put the, yeah, I don't know, put the hammer down, but we'll try and make our way down to Dryden, I guess. Yeah, this is going to be fun, fun, fun. That's right. Oh, well, we got to do what we got to do. This is part of winter. Yep. Anyways, we'll go up here to the coat, we'll fill up, and then we'll see you guys down the road. This is it, guys. Here we are, back on the road. We fill the truck up. Now we gotta get some miles in. Yeah, at least we'll go up to Dryden, and then at least we'll pick up our load, and supposedly they made my border crossing for South St. Marie. So, I haven't been across there in a long time, but that means I have to drive through Canada up to Sault Ste. Marie before I enter the United States. Yeah. But that's okay. It's okay. We'll make it happen. The only bad part about it is I was hoping I could go south a little bit and I could outrun the snow, but that obviously ain't gonna happen though because it always moves east. And I'm gonna be traveling east. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be in snowmageddon or whatever you wanna call it. Oh well, as soon as we have the load on, usually it's easier to drive, you know, I mean, now I got an empty trailer behind me again, like we do every single time we go to drive. We just take an empty trailer. And that uh, is not a good recipe, <laughs> in my opinion. But, well, at least we get loads out of there, and the only problem is that's a heavy load. And then we're supposed to cross probably the McIntyre Bridge, the one that you guys saw a while back ago where I crossed. A lot of people, I think, liked it. It's a huge bridge. Yes, it is. Indeed, it is. I'm just driving a little slower, you know. I just... My tires need to heat up in order to get good gravity. They say once the tire is nicely heated up, it has better gravity, too, here in the, in the snow and ice, you know. So... Uh, I drive a little slower when they are cold, they're harder, the, the tires, so uh, take her easy a little bit, and then once they're warmed up, you can go a little faster. But first little stretch, we'll just take it easy. Well, we'll take it easy no matter what, but because we want to be safe out here on the road, right? That's the plan. Anyways, let's continue on with our journey. As you can see, you can't see too far. It's all white out there. But we're going to make the best of it, right? 
Thanks for joining us today. And that's coming live right along with us. And let's see what kind of day we will have today. Hopefully there is no road closures today. I am just coming into Dryden right now. In 300 meters, Gotta take this. Icon, Duke Street, Highway 594. Yeah, this next light, that's where we got to take that exit and go over to our uh, pickup location. What is literally just down the road anyways, so... We're gonna go there and pick up our preloaded trailer. I think it's ready. As far as I know, it's ready. Here we go. And then we gotta continue on further in Ontario. Which kind of sucks, but oh well. Sometimes you gotta do it. That's right. Anyways, we'll go over there and pick up our preloaded trailer and then we'll see you guys in a bit. Here we go guys, we have picked up our preloaded trailer. Now we're heading out of town. Well, I guess I gotta make one turn here very soon, but uh, that'll be onto Highway 17, which is considered Highway 1. And then we'll start heading eastbound. To the right on Government Street, Highway 17, and then yeah. slide right in Government 100 meters. Street. Uh -huh. Okay. Meters, to the right on Government Street, Highway 17, and then slide right in 100 meters. Yeah, we gotta go up to Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, to uh, cross the border. Uh, I don't really enjoy crossing that border too much, but. Sometimes I guess you just got to. Yeah. Alrighty. Now we got a long ways to go up to there. Don't know exactly how far it is, but I know it's 306 kilometers. Six kilometers. Up to Thunder Bay. And I think it's another hour and a quarter up to Nipigon. Three and a half from uh, St. Marie to Wawa. I don't even know exactly how much it is from Nipigon up to uh, St. Marie or to Wawa. So. so we got quite a few hours in Canada yet. So let's get out of here. Make our way down as far as we can tonight. I'll probably end up Speed somewhere water. around uh, Thunder Bay. Maybe I'll go up to that Flying J that's just on the east side of Thunder Bay. Maybe go find me a spot in there. Yeah. Seems like it's starting to snow a little bit here too. It's just barely visible but real fine mist but but it is at least here in Ontario they maintain the roads good that's one good thing about Ontario they put so much salt down on there that eh, you don't usually have to worry about uh, having slippery roads I mean yeah the odd time it happens too right you can't always maintain it hundred percent but they try very hard to do it they really do Anyways, we will continue on cruising and see where we end up tonight. Alrighty guys, we are in Nipigon, Ontario. Yeah, it's a little small truck stop up here, a little asshole. Not that much room in here, you know. But what they do have in here is a Tim Hortons. Yeah, so I went in there and had me a little bit of a coffee and a bite to eat. And now we went and put the video together from this week sometime I'm a little bit behind right now actually so uh, I'm trying to catch up <laughs> yeah that's the plan anyways but anyways we are pretty much done for today so I uh, figure I end the show for today and then we'll get up tomorrow morning as early as we can get out of here so with that being said thanks for watching give us a thumbs up hit that share button that like button 
If you are new to our channel, we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button. Yeah. And if you did that, we want to thank you in advance. We appreciate that very much. So with that, have a good one everybody and we'll see you again tomorrow at 2 a.m. Remember, we are seven days behind. behind me that day is gonna come i'm breaking the walls down